Welcome back, I'm Austin, and it's time for Warzone Versus, where we go over the stats in depth, then give my verdict on which gun is better, and give you the best class steps at the end of the video. Today we have the XM4 versus Grob. These are two top tier sniper support weapons, and it's time we figure out which one is the best. Now right before we get started, I just want to say the Grob clips were done in Iron Trials, so the gun isn't killing slow, the players are just going to have more health. Now going straight into the stats, the Grob will have a better max bullet velocity with 1300 compared to 1175 for the XM4. The Grav has an incredible max bullet velocity, making it way past long range meta, but when we use sniper support weapons, we only gotta use them out to 40 to 50 meters, so this is completely overkill. The XM4 is actually in the meta long range bullet velocity as well, so these weapons are gonna be just fine for using it mid range. These weapons are super similar, and that's gonna start with fire rates, where we can see that the Grav will be slightly better again with 750 rounds per minute to 721. These ARs are both slightly above average for fire rate, making them a little bit easier to use and a little bit more forgiving. More bullets downstream is always beneficial, and that is of course a benefit to these weapons. Now let's see how much damage they're going to do. The XM4 will be slightly better when it comes to close range damage with 33.75 compared to 32.5. This advantage is going to get even smaller at long range with a 30.25 to 29.25 advantage. Now if we're going to look at a full damage breakdown, we're going to be looking at head, chest, stomach, and limb damage. We can see that these weapons have almost identical damage profiles. These weapons have identical damage actually from chest to limbs. They also have no damage drop off all the way from chest to limbs. I know I just said chest to limbs like 14 times, but the best weapons in Warzone generally will have equal chest and stomach shot damage because this gives a big target area to get their optimal TTK. The limbs is a nice bonus for both these weapons. Now, both of them are going to feel super consistent while having upside to lower their TTKs through headshots. However, the XM4 also does get a neck shot multiplier, which is equal to the headshot multiplier, making it have a bigger hitbox for lowering its TTK. This is a very very nice advantage to the XM4 and it's definitely a good recipe for weapons in Warzone. And the most likely time to kill close range is going to go to the Grav with 640 milliseconds compared to 666 for the XM4. The Grav has a faster TTK because of its superior fire rate. These weapons have identical damage outside of headshots, so both are going to be taking 9 shots to kill and the Grav shoots faster, therefore the faster TTK. These weapons are going to feel super consistent with their time to kills because of their damage being equal from chest to limbs, and another benefit it is that they both only take one headshot to lower the TTK with the Grav going to 560 milliseconds and the XM4 to 586. The Grav will always have the better TTK because they take the same shots to kill and it has the superior fire rate. Where the XM4 has the advantage is that its neck damage matches the headshot damage. This means it's easier to get the lower TTK. Overall these weapons feel very consistent up close and they both have room to be better. You always go for headshots with these weapons at close range, especially the XM4 because its TTK is subpar without getting this one headshot or neck shot, and it has a bigger area to hit than most weapons. And before we switch to long range TTK, let's actually talk about the range of these weapons. The Grav will be better with base range with 25 meters to the XM4's 22. The range benefit of the Grav is nice, but it isn't an overwhelming advantage, and of course when we get to these class setups, we're going to be bolstering these to be even better. Before moving to long range TTK, make sure to like the video if it's been helpful so far. Jumping back into it, the Grav will once again have the better time to kill by a decent margin with 720 milliseconds to 749. Both weapons are going to be taking 10 shots to kill and the Grav still has the faster fire rate and that's why it kills a little bit faster. Now the good part is that these weapons will still only be taking one headshot to lower their time to kills back to their close range TDKs of 640 and 666. But remember the XM4 does have that neck multiplier making it a headshot or a neck shot to lower its time to kill. Going for headshots on these weapons no matter the range close or far is beneficial and I think it's easy to see that both weapons will feel super consistent and feel good and there's a reason these are top tier sniper support options within Warzone. Moving over to the accuracy there are going to be surprisingly close with both weapons having exclusively vertical recoil. The Grav used to be pretty bad with its recoil but recently got buffed making it much more accurate. And with the XM4, it does have a substantial kick for its first five bullets, then it mellows out and is super easy to control after. So you don't really want to tap fire the XM4, it gets a lot better if you just hold the trigger. Overall, the XM4 is going to end up being slightly easier to control and aim, and with the Grav, you might just need to get used to it a little before getting the hang of it. Taking a look at damage for mag, the XM4 will come out ahead if we use the 60 round mag with a 2028 to 1650 advantage. The Grav will however win if we only use a 40 round mag on the XM4, you have to remember that the 60 round mag will hurt the ADS which isn't good for a weapon we want to use at close range, and this stat is going to be more important the bigger the mode, making it the most influential
influential than quads, this stat is even more crucial on a sniper support weapon because you don't have a backup option up close if you run out of ammo in your clip. Now the good news is the XM4 has plenty of damage if we use that 60 round mag, and the Grav is decent when we use the 50 round. Switching over to the close range damage per second, the Grav is going to be a little bit better once again with 413 DPS to 406. Both of these are solid for up close, but shine because they're also good at range. These weapons are versatile, making them perfect sniper support options. Finally, moving on over to the movement stats, the XM4 is going to have a faster ADS and ADS movement, while the Grav will have just the slightest advantage with movement, and then they have a tie in sprint to fire and strafe speed. The most significant difference is going to be the ADS, where the XM4 is way faster, and aim down sight speed is definitely one of the more important stats for close range weapons, and that's exactly what sniper support weapons have to do, function well up close and at mid range. Going into this, I did think the XM4 would win the movement category by a mile, but these weapons are way more similar across the board, and that will include movement than I really thought. If this video has been helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe as well for more Warzone Versus. Alright, I've given you all the relevant stats for these weapons, and it's time for my verdict. The Grav, it's just better in too many areas including fire rate, TTK, and range. Now the XM4 is still a top tier weapon in Warzone, but I believe it is better for long range meta than as a sniper support. The next shot multiplayer was the only thing making it a discussion on which was the better sniper support. But the Grav having the lower base time to kill is super important. The recoil isn't hard to control, the movement is very similar to the AK-47, another fan favorite sniper support. So it's going to feel very familiar in that sense, and it is still insanely easy to get that lower TTK with one headshot, they'll make it drop players faster than the AK, PPSH, Bullfrog, MAC-10, and of course the XM4. The Grav felt really smooth to use and it just felt like a good weapon when running around with it. The XM4 at times felt a little lacking when you didn't get the head or neck shot because 666 milliseconds is super slow TTK up close. And even when you do get this TTK, it's basically just going to be the MAC-10's base time to kill with body shots. The XM4 doesn't have enough upside at close range to be an elite option only a good one. I'm going to start by doing the XM4 best class setup as a sniper support and we're really going to have to amplify its ADS to really make it worth using. So we also got to make the range better with the agency and this gets us recoil control, effective damage range, and bullet velocity, all good things. We skip over the barrel and the laser, we move over to the optic, and I personally just think the Microflex LED is by far the best optic to use on sniper sport weapons on Cold War weapons. And I don't like the iron sights on the XM4 at all, so I really recommend you use this Microflex. And then we got to move to the stock, and this is going to be helping us with sprint to fire because on ARs it's a little bit low especially when you're using them up close. So this Raider Pass is going to be super helpful there. And we get some ADS movement there while firing. And then we go over to the magazine. I think it's way too low damage per mag as a sniper sport if you use the 45 round. So I think we got to hurt the ADS here a little. But how we're going to counteract that is by throwing on the Serpent Wrap. And this thing is going to have really good ADS, solid range, really easy to aim. That's why we don't need the field agent grip on this. And now we're going to move on over to the Grav Best Class setup. Alright, so first thing we're going to do with this is similar to the XM4, we are going to go with the Agency Suppressor for the range, the Vertical Recoil Control, and Bullet Velocity. Then we're going to skip over the same thing, throwing the Microflex LED for the same reasons. Stock Raider Pad, we do need that Sprint to Fire time up. But for this one, we're going to use the 50 round mag, which is actually its biggest magazine size, and it only hurts your reload quickness, does not affect the ADS, so this is a big time advantage on the Grav class setup. And this is where we can go a little different ways here. We could go with the Serpent Wrap, just like we did with the XM4. But personally, I think this one with a little extra recoil, we should use the field agent grip. But if you're really comfortable with its recoil, you can go right ahead and use the serpent wrap. But I think this is the best class setup. And now if you want to know what sniper to pair with these weapons, I'll have a video linked right now.